Education is a journey dreamed by everyone young and old. In the Besumskat, education is a grandeur amidst the verdant hills and mountains. It is a story of a long and winding voyage. It is an exposition of struggles, progresses with perseverance, hard work and commitment, and eventually an unending story of a continual improvement sought for a lifetime. A year ago and beyond, the Besim Scott is a busy street of students, teaching and non-teaching personnel, and community people going to and fro with bodies and pals working on the many different academic, non-academic, and extracurricular happenings. It is a community of reality where everyone sees each other eye to eye, sits closer in shot, converses personally, and expresses oneself in a way peers perceive actually what is supposed to be understood in an authentic scenario. Towards the end of 2019, COVID-19 stroked the world. All nations seemed to froze. It brought panic and incertitude. Peoples around the globe hung for a moment. This created uncertainties which brought a wave of shutdown in many agencies including all schools and educational institutions. Early of March 2020, the Basim Scott went through its crossroad when classes at all levels were suspended due to the health crisis brought about by the pandemic. From then on, everything changed. Restrictions are everywhere. There exists plenty of connet bees, immobilization of people and transactions, and a lot more which turned to be not normal any longer. There was a whirlwind shift in the delivery of lessons. Students had been detached physically from school and peers as flexible learning has been implemented to continue coping with the academic demands. Schooling became an everyday struggle due to limited access to learning resources and materials. As days passed by, these caused trouble to their emotional and psychological well-being, which led them to heightened isolation, boredom, stress, depression, escalating anxiety, and most of all, mental health crises. A once exciting academic journey seemed to become an avatar of a tough going. Given this fact and realizing that things will never turn back the same as before, people from all walks of life must keep moving forward by learning to live with the virus and embrace the so-called new normal. And so, the best in Scott should too. Leaning on this spot, the Office of the Student Affairs and Services and the Office of Social, Recreational and Community Involvement are launching. Zumus Tahan This is an online room aiming at recovering and enhancing social skills of the Besimskat students by providing them 
the opportunity to make connections with their peers, establish friendship and camaraderie, and be able to balance social activities with responsibilities with the use of the available platforms such as online. This is believed to help them alleviate different stresses and be able to enjoy and breathe every once in a while as they do teach chats with all other students of the Basim Scott about different happenings apart from their academic concerns. Moreover, to lessen the students' academic strains, the Office of the Student Affairs and Services and the Supreme Student Council are launching the Pag Eskwela Boruli Kita. This is an online peer mentoring room via Zoom which intends to provide guidance to all students of the Basim Scott. In this room, students are invited to involve themselves especially if they have academic-related concerns, questions, or clarifications. College professors and senior students will serve as mentors and will answer all questions responsibly. This undertaking is purposely initiated by the Student Affairs and Services to advocate flexible service delivery to be able to address the growing predicaments of the students. This may bring ease and hope and radiate passivity to everybody for continual improvement. For the best Scott says, we care for each and every one. <laughs>